Schedule 1 is a 2025 title built on the Unity engine, and these are the game's minimum system requirements. So today, I'm going to show you how to squeeze the absolute best performance out of it, even if you're running on a low-end PC, no matter your specs. By the end of this video, your game will run smoother than ever. Yes, even on a toaster. So without wasting any more time, let's dive right in and get started. All right, so I'm starting things off by running the game on my integrated graphics. In the display settings, the resolution is set to 1080p. Now, if you're struggling with performance, you can definitely lower it, but I'm going to keep it at 1080p for now. One important thing I noticed, resolution changes only work if you switch the display mode to windowed. If you leave it on full screen window or exclusive full screen, the resolution won't actually change, which is kind of a downside. VSync is turned off, and the target frame rate is set to the maximum. As for the graphic settings, the quality is on low. Anti-aliasing is disabled, and both SSAO and God Rays are turned off. With all of that set up, let's check out the in-game performance. Honestly, it's not bad at all. It runs pretty smoothly with these settings, but if you're still experiencing lag or stutters, don't worry. Stick with me till the end, because I've got an awesome graphics tweak that can drastically improve your FPS. So now let's exit the game and jump into the steps we need to take to boost performance even further. All right, so let's get started with the actual modding process. First, head to the description below and download the zip file I've linked. Once it's downloaded, extract it anywhere you like. After extracting, open the folder. You'll see four folders and one application inside. Now these four folders each contain custom DLL files made by me. These DLLs are designed to help you get a huge FPS boost by scaling down the internal resolution of the game. And don't worry, it doesn't shrink your game window or display size. It just increases the pixelation slightly, kind of like a dynamic resolution scaler. So yeah, the visuals might look a bit rougher, but in return, the performance gets a solid boost. The application you see is used to load the mod into the game. So simply copy this app into your Schedule 1 game directory Once it's there, launch it, make sure your internet is on, because it needs to fetch some files during setup. Next, click on Add Game Manually and select the Schedule 1 executable file. If you see an error, it's probably because the game was already added before, like in my case. Now select the game from the list, pick the latest version, and hit Install. It'll take a minute to download and install the required files. Just give it a moment. After that, go back to the folder you extracted earlier. This is where you pick your resolution mod. The lower the resolution, the more FPS you'll get. But yeah, visuals will be a bit more pixelated, so I'm going with the 800 by 450 version for now. Now just copy the DLL file and paste it into your game directory, then into the mods folder, now you've successfully installed the mod. So now let's launch the game and see the difference it makes. And as you can see, the FPS literally doubled. It's honestly kind of crazy. The performance boost was so strong that MSI Afterburner, which I usually use for recording, kept crashing because it couldn't handle the frame rate jump. So yeah. I had to switch recorders midway just to keep showing you the results. The game is now running incredibly smooth, and considering how heavy it was before, this tweak really makes a huge difference, especially for low-end systems. So, yep, that's it for today's video. If this helped you out, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more FPS boost content, and share this with your friends who game on low-end PCs. They'll thank you later. Catch you guys in the next one. Stay safe and happy gaming.